Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Trune, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join me here inside the Massachusetts State House in surprisingly good state, actually. As you can see there, I've not exactly got much in the way of rats, I've got plenty of health, I've actually managed to shake all of my diseases, which is lovely, apart from alcoholism. I am still suffering from alcoholism, but if I wanted to get rid of that, I could do. I've actually got a dose of a dictol on me, I believe, but I don't actually want to. I like just doing booze. It's a good way of just keeping rads ticking down. And today, today I've got a very special plan in mind. So, number one, I'm going to head over to the Park Street Station, and I'm going to drop a quick save there, as, yeah, we're in pretty good shape right now. Plenty of food, plenty of water, generally things looking pretty good. So I'm going to drop a quick save, and then we're beginning a new journey, and we're heading north. Okay, bit of a shame, that has actually just made me tired, and in addition I've lost my adrenaline from killing all of the actual crab creatures, but... No matter. I'm happy to have this saved regardless. Tide is okay. I've also got myself a handful of extra booze, which is never bad. Now! Now, 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 now. So, the plan that I've got here... Uh, one, just double check there's no... Uh, yeah, ghouls have actually been weirdly removed. Oh, actually, there's something around here. Nope, never mind. Ghouls have not been removed from the game. Obviously, ghouls would never have been removed from the game. One of my thinking suggesting that this mod would actually remove a ghoul. No, 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 no. Up ahead on the left is super mutants in the base game. Often replaced by bears. Unlikely to be replaced by bears here. Uh, oh, oh. Right. Angry survivor. You can go down. I didn't actually see him. I'm going to be honest, totally didn't see that. <laughs> That's fine. Probably should have taken him out with actually. This seems quiet. Is the rest of this building empty? Because if it is, gore bags for a possibility of... Nope, that's strange meat. And strange meat, strange meat. Right, lots of flipping human here. I will, however, take mongrel dog meat. Never say no to a handful of extra food. Oh my goodness. Well, there it is. There it flipping is. So, we've got ourselves a ghoul mask. Radiation resistance times 10. Sanity goes, well, it says up by 20, but this game gets really confused and sometimes mislabels up as down or vice versa. So I'm guessing that actually means sanity is being reduced by 20 because you're pretending to be a ghoul. Fine. Well, I will certainly be taking that. Now, I can pretend to be a ghoul, but if I do it outside, I'll be taking rad. So really, it only helps in, yeah, interiors and underground. But bear in mind, of course, I'll still take rads from being close by to ghouls. So that's something to watch out for. But still, that's a hell of a find right there. So, my next big objective round here is, yeah, here we go, mass fusion. Now, no idea what's there, but in theory, just in theory, if mass fusion were to be something easy to clear out, there is a strength bobblehead up there, and carry capacity is very, very limited. Vats is not detecting anything out front, and the base game, of course, there's... Mines, traps, and gunners. Okay. Assuming this building is open. I'm up for having just a little poke inside. Just to see what's going on. Not least as yet. <laughs> inside Boston, the frame rate is not a happy bunny in Frost. I think it's like the, the added mist effects that uh, this mod utilizes quite a lot. It runs a lot worse than the base game. Got, ooh, fusion cells, I'll take that. Mini nuke 556, five, just a basic unimproved assault rifle. I could probably do without that. There's is that a dead ghoul. That's a dead ghoul over there with an aluminium can. Okay. Handful of dead ghouls. Bryant Hill's journal! I'm pretty sure that's like the third or fourth instance of Bryant Hill we've run into so far. <laughs> Marvellous. Right, well, let's see what we got going on in here. And the answer is. Okay, something's alive in here. Brackets are shuffling a bit. Okay, fine. Machine gun turret. Whatever. 
Aside from the fact that seem to be struggling to... Is that even active? Well, there's one right there. Okay. That is not active right now. There's... Oh. Sorry, I didn't see you there, actually. My, my mistake. Now, just hold still for a second. Hold still for one second over there. And I will just... Come back. Come back over here, please. Right. He can go down. Now, if this is indeed nothing but basic guys, basic survivors, I think I'd be willing to spend the 10mm ammo that it would take me to get up top. Because I can basically just blast my way past these lads pretty easily. Also, just by any chance, this is the way to the elevator. Oh, careful, careful, careful. This is the way to the elevator. No, the elevator's still hidden behind the card reader, so I can't get down to the bottom. Not that I'd want to go down to the bottom. The bottom is where there's a lot of rads, but still, it might have been, you know, a nice to have. Got ourselves, ah, sadly, that's advanced. And you've got, ah, fusion cells, though. I'll take a handful of fusion cells, thank you. Safest thing to do would be, yes, I know you're there. No eyes on anything else. There's, actually, there's um there's a save spot downstairs. There's some beds downstairs, I believe, in the base game. Let's start with them. So, over here, we've got ourselves, is that openable? That's novice locked, so no one's going to be in there. We've got, oh, hello. Right, okay. Just, are you getting up or going to sleep? Okay, one, two. Okay, there's some dodgy hitboxing going on there. Let's just quickly finish you off with a handful too many bullets. That's fine. And now he's just slightly wibbling out. Okay, there's, ooh. Okay, it's not bad. What else have you got? Nothing much of interest. Ooh, missiles. La -di da Now from here I might have, yeah, there's clearly more around here, but if it is just survivors, I'm basically just trading 10mm ammo and, well, if I'm lucky, I might get some like medical supplies because there are a couple of um, med boxes around here if I recall correctly, but I'm trading it for an extra 5 carry capacity, which I would say is worth it, yes. Right. Let's move up to the next floor here, and oh. Okay, one person right there, and boom, boom. Okay, two shots is fine. You've got yourself, that is just pipe weaponry. Next up, keep on moving. We can pretty much just take the, okay. It's gotta be either over there or in here. Keep it moving on, and... Oh! Hello! I'll just take these shots against you, thank you. You've just got a knife, but that's fine. Back to still searching. Still searching. Oh, I see you. I see him around the corner. Boom! I'll just take the vats against him. And I thought he was holding a gun, but he's not. And still searching. But searching quite far away. Hang on. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, alliance fatigues. Okay, I may or may not be murdering the alliance right now. That was a, hang on, that was, you just said disciples, disciples serrated, though it's fast, I can do without. And we've got, okay, they're walking into their own traps. This all works for me, quite frankly. If they want to do that, I am happy for them to do that. And yeah, check every container. Now I've got two ranks of scrounger, ammo just shows up in the weirdest of places. Though annoyingly, so many of these guys are, oh. Watch out for that. So many of these guys are not actually using guns. I'm not actually replenishing my ammo supplies. I've got a handful there. Ah, that's 44, is that? That's, you know what, 308, I'll take that. Sniper rifle might be useful if there's a boss at the end, as there is in the base game, understandably. Instead, what have we got? Yeah, there's... There's a few floors yet. This area is not tiny. There's a few bits and pieces around here. Keep it slow, move out in this direction. 
See if we can get vats on any Oh, that room. I know that room. There we go. I see you. Okay. Hold still. Hold still. Hold. Right, dad. Good. What? Now. Anyone else going to respond to that? No one's going over there. Oh. And go, 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 go. And... Um, Right. One more dead. That guy was a little bit on the tougher side. I just want that strength. Yeah, I'm kind of in on this now. I've wasted enough ammo on this. I now have to get the strength bubble head. Otherwise, it was just a massive, massive waste. Actually, that's a good point. I've actually got quite a few explosives right now. On the explosives front, I am okay. Don't forget to use the burning grenades. Against basic lads, if there's a group of them, they're pretty effective. So, you, my good man, what did you have on you? 308, very welcome. Together with Marksman's Powerful Sniper. Uh, I think that's about the same as what I've got, isn't it? Yeah, 122, two, same damage output, so no difference there. One person's still up there, fine. And... Dead. Alright. However, one person is still alive. Right around here. Check the corners first, John. Always check the corners first. Because we know there's someone around here. And logically, they might be... Not yet. Not yet anyway. Open the door. Check your ramp. Alright. Up! Oh! Okay. Just finish him off, please. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, that guy scared me slightly. Four fusion cells. Why were you holding fusion cells? Ooh, laser pistol. Now, okay. Interesting debate to be had about the laser pistol. So, what stops me converting my laser rifle into a laser pistol? I mean, it'll lose, like, some level of... Oh, hello. Wait, what? Wait, what? Who are... Who are you and how did you get down there? How did I miss you? Wait, what? How did... Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, if I was to convert my laser rifle into a laser pistol, then arguably, would that not be good? Because the weight would be lesser. Hang on, let's just have a little look -see at this. See, the maximized capacitor could be moved over together with the fine-tuned beam focuser and the reflex sight over to a pistol variant of this thing. Because this thing weighs 7, damage 96. Now, I might lose some of the recoil or whatever on this thing, and I might need to watch the range as well. But in theory, just in theory... Hang on, go over to you. Yeah, that weighs 3.9. I am going to take that... For now. I'm going to take that with me. And if I can, I'm going to see if I can swap that over at a weapons bench. Also, this is a... Ooh, antibiotics, 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 antibiotics. No, one bandage. You know what? It's better than a kick in the teeth. Okay, we're getting close to the top here. Only a couple more floors to go. And actually... Oh, no. I was about to say, maybe I'm all alone. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm flipping not. There's, oh, there's this bit. Oh. Right. You know I'm there. Okay, two of ya. Though apparently they can't see through this window. And... Okay. Go! Okay. I've just been shot, but it's not that hard. It's not that hard. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I say I'm okay. I'm not that okay. Ah! You haven't got a gun. That's fine. Right, just to finish you off too. Right, that's the two I've seen. Backed up. I think we're done. Whew. That almost went wrong at the end there. That almost went... Oh, that's nice though. I'll take that. Can I have the ammo there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually made back the ammo too. Marvellous. Right, I've slapped on a bandage just to get my health back. That's fine. I've picked up a ton of uh, bandages during this area. And this area now does also appear to be all calm. Good. Good, good, good. Now I'm just going to basically do a quick swing by for ammo. That was 5.56. Five, Not what I need. I think we're good now. 
because, yeah, the brackets seem very sinless. The game's literally going to, like, spawn someone out of nowhere. Oh! Never mind. That's exactly what it's going to do. I thought we were dumb, but it turns out we're not. Okay. Who's that up top there? Because I can't bloody see them very well. Uh, okay. Keep your distance. I want eyes on. What is it? It is... Oh, cock, it's power armor. No. Though I could do a lot of good work to his head with the crit right now, it's too dangerous. Luckily, I don't need to kill him. Alright? He can just stay over there if I'm lucky, thanks to the way that, yeah, stealth seems to be pretty powerful in Frost. I think I can get what I need and then just go. You see, I know for a fact he's guarding a, a chest. But I don't really want that chest. That's not why I came here. Also, I'll just have a quick look at this. That's a toaster. What I want is the strength bobblehead. And I know where that is. I know precisely where that is. That is over the top there. Now, if I keep my movement really really slow, and that's a camera, I thought it was an ID for a second, if I keep my movement really slow, he's going to struggle to see me, he won't really detect me, they don't so much, but then again, oh, stay still, just in case, I'm just going to go over to this old girl, right, okay, where is it exactly, I think it's Stay there, stay out of the way, stay out of the way, and jump, and jump, and jump, and there it is, okay, I just need to, there it is, go, got that, now it's time to go, and I'm punched, ooh, I don't want to fight him, I'm just out of here now. I'm just straight 100% out of here. I'm not interested. Unless... Actually, where's the nearest bed? I could drop a save and try and... Actually, you know what? That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, I kind of want to drop a save before I go anyway. So I may as well drop the save. And then after I've dropped the save try and figure out a way to take him out, because that actually lets me have a bit of an experiment with lads in power armor. Yeah, go on then, why not? Okay, save dropped. Sadly, of course, that means I have once again lost my adrenaline, which just kind of take an edge away from me. Also, wait, what? Are they... Okay, possibly those guys are detecting me, even though they're not actually properly active. Okay, so I've lost the edge I get from my adrenaline, but, yeah, let's just head back upstairs, see what we can do. If we can't do anything against him, if he turns out to be just like a nightmare to deal with, then I can simply restore to that save that's now down there and just say, screw it, I'll be on my way, thanks, bye. But the reason I wouldn't mind actually taking him out if I... Oh, what the... Did he just jump down? Oh, flip. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's 100% coming. He's not happy to just stay up top. Okay. Go over to... Powerful sniper rifle. Okay. Wait. 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 If he's coming this way... Hit him with the headshot. Uh... No. Don't use this gun. Use this. Because then I can go immediately into more fire. Okay. Where is he now? He's totally 100% just around the corner, I think. So, crit into the head, and then just basically fire, 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 and then never stop firing. He's... where is he? He was just around here, but he might be trying to return to his original position. He can't have gone too far. Alright, he's a big lad in power armor. There's only so fast he can move. Well, apparently somehow he did manage to beat me upstairs. <laughs> just quite frankly embarrassing, but okay. One plan. Simply wait for him to be in that position. Then, open fire as fast as possible with laser rifle going into, yes, yeah, screw it, going into edge up. And now, just take whatever shot you, in fact, actually, I don't even need to use the crit. I don't even need the crit right now. And then that's a, 
And then, okay, or we could just miss with every single shot going. That, that would be fine too. We could just miss with every single 70% chance to hit shots. Okay, well that was a waste of time at the end there, but hopefully I'll get some of that back right now. No, because he's, he's holding 5.56. Five, well, I'll pick up the laser pistol, which hopefully gets me... Darn it, apparently it was not loaded. Well, no matter, because am I remembering correctly that there's... I thought there was a weapons workbench in here. Let's see if this was actually worth it. Because if it wasn't, I might just say screw it. Because this doesn't feel like it was worth it, does it? No. And yeah, the armor is slightly badly damaged T45 and no fusion core. So I don't even get that out of it. Yeah, I'm literally gaining one bandage. I'm trading away 20 fusion cells for one bandage. That is not worth it. So I'm just going to reload downstairs and we'll be on our way. So let's talk about my real journey back downstairs in that case with a rather lovely 135 on the old carry capacity right now. What I would like to do is head back north. Now one, Bunk Hill is not cleared. All right, I haven't even been inside it, but whatever. What I need, if I'm going to swim out to the wreck of the Columbia is I'm going to need some equivalent of a hazmat suit or a rad suit. Now, there's a few options for that. The easiest, I think, is West Everett. West Everett Estate, which is about... about there-ish. About there-ish or so. So if I was to basically head a little bit north from where I am now, go to Bunker Hill, I think there was only two US Army remnants in there. That used to be terrifying, now I think that's manageable. Clear that out, get a good night's sleep there, because there should be beds upstairs in the hotel. From there, it's a pretty short hop without much in the way, up towards West Everett. And that, I think, is pretty much the last big thing that I do actually need in order to actually approach the Columbia. Then I just need to get down towards Spectacle Island, and that's pretty much all the preparation that I'm going to be able to manage. Back outside, time to just continue heading north. What's going to be the best way to do that? Hang on, is that the, um, the corner bookstore over there? If it is, there might be a handful of dogs in that direction. I wouldn't mind a handful of dogs just for a handful of meat. Food, I've got some food, but not enough I feel comfortable. So go on. Poke in this direction. That is... Well, obviously that's Raider Territory. Here we go. Old corner bookstore. Couple of dead things here. There's actually basically nothing in this place in the base game. I might just... Oh, hello. Have two bandages off you. Thank you very, very much indeed. Ooh, automatic raiding rifle would be lovely, but no, sadly not on this occasion. I'm just going to have a little look see inside. It's like one room. Radaway. Tell you what, it's worth it just for the Radaway, quite frankly. In fact, I might have accidentally picked up a bunch of useful stuff there. See, the thing is, I'm going to need to... Oh, blimey. Oh, yeah, that, that frame rate, that's lovely. Um, the thing is, if the Columbia is not the end of the game, then I'm going to need to swim there, then swim back. I've picked up a Fungal Purge from those guys inside Mass Fusion and a Radaway here. If I actually have both of them, that will be very, very useful indeed for potentially recovering from that there swim. Right, so now I'm heading due east. That's what some call it hall. That's, uh... Super Mutants in the base game. Super Mutants in the base game. Nothing right now. Hello there, my good man. You're just a random survivor. And I don't see... Unless your pocketed left leg is very good. No, it's a tiny bit better, but it weighs six more than the, um, the pocketed combat armor left, so no. In fact, there's a bunch of corpses around here. Including Federation Elite Fatigues. Because somebody... I'm designing this area, went out of their way to actually bother decorating it. And I think this place, which I can never pronounce, I'm not going to try. Someone mentioned this in the... Oh, ghouls. Okay, if it's ghouls, I'm back in straight out. Somebody mentioned this place in the comments as a good place. But I'm not convinced it's worth it if it's ghouls. Alright, we're looking at... Oh. Okay. We're looking at a Protectron Watcher, which I'm not really thrilled about. If they wake up, that could be trouble. So, OK, 
Okay. Be prepared to just back the hell out of here. I don't like this one little bit. And I can't see anything either. Oh, 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 okay. Hang on. Rads, rads, and searching. Well, it's going to be ghouls, isn't it? Nice and slow. I'm thinking, yeah, it's ghouls. If this is ghouls, I... Oh, more ghouls. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm good. Whatever it is, I'm good without. I spent a lot of time getting my rads down to this current level. Okay? A lot of time. And ghouls are a garbage enemy you do not want to fight. Alright? Because they don't drop anything good. With that up there, fine. That is Old North Church. And is that the... Oh, hang on. Is that the, um... The boxing club? The boxing club that, if I recall correctly, the very first time I played this, I just sort of accidentally... Yeah! The boxing gym! My very first catastrophically terrible playthrough of Frost, this was where pretty much I died. This was the final room. I pretty much just gave up after this point. Uh, how tough are you, by the way? Not very tough. So, one and two. Down you go. And it was just you in here. Fine, this was just your boxing gym. Lovely! Lovely, lovely, lovely. What have you got on you, by the way? And... Dick Munson's journal. That might be a new one. Ah, yes, just a tragic backstory of something, something, something. I think I read that the first time I was here. Now, if I'm recalling correctly, is there anything good here? Anything worth having, worth taking? Any med kits or anything? Oh, wait, there's a load of buff out here, if I recall correctly. Because, yeah, there were some steroid users in the gym. Uh, but I don't think anything particularly worthy of note. Okay, back outside. Now I just want to take whatever the easiest, safest route to get across the river is. This is, ah, uh, that's... Okay. I got no beef with you. No beef with you at all. I'm just going to loop around the other way. Alright, I don't need to murder every survivor I see. I've not found much booze recently. There's the old North Church. So I'm a bit worried about my sanity. So I'm going to avoid murdering people if I can, because I am a good person. Oh, but Feral's on the... Yep, Feral's on the ground. That's absolutely fine. Okay, just for safety, I decided to plasma rifle both of the ghouls in this area. Just for safety. And... Get back to 10 millimeters because I've got plenty of that right now. Over the top, and I'm now back at the river. Should be over to the left from the guys I ran into last time, and now I'm thirsty. That's fine. So, this here is a bridge that should take me pretty much bang on out at Bunk Hill. This is actually, yeah, that should be Bunk Hill right up there. In fact, I know where Bunk Hill is, because it's got the giant thing sticking out of it. So that's fine. Uh, now this bridge sometimes has random stuff on it, sometimes doesn't. Looks like today I've been lucky. Previously when I've passed by here, she's had ghouls on her. Alright, fed, watered, ready to go. So, my next plan is, yeah, figure out where these guys are and how exactly we're going to take them out. Because my take on this would be there were not many of them. Only like... Two, I believe. So, hop up top. And if we can, let's get a view on the US Army remnants. Uh, oh, darn it. Um, I don't have a critical anymore, by the way. I had to burn it in the graveyard, taking out that bloody ghoul. Because there was a tougher one who charged me. And now, in addition... The US Army are being a little bit on the shy side, which they normally aren't. Where the bloody hell have these guys gone? Oh, I see you there. I see you there, guarding that there entrance. But I tell you what, what would a headshot do to you? Ooh, a headshot might just kill you. Well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Silenced headshot. Boom. 
Uh, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Let's stick with a nice, powerful laser rifle. If they're trying to guard the entrances and exits... That... Oh! Okay. How about you? Headshot might just do the job against you as well. Okay. And then we've got... Oh! Uh-oh. Now they know. Now they know. I'm going to sneak up top here. This is a good spot to... No, that's a statue. Okay. Where's the person that's... Aha! I see you. I see you down there. I might even have a shot at you. Damn. Okay, there's one. Uh, not a great shot, but... Oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh and... Oh, yeah. Okay. That got a little bit on the lucky side right there. And have we still got... I still see you down there. Well, that's just marvellous. So, another one who should be a pretty easy pick-off. Alright, are we good? No, we're not quite good yet. There's more yet. Question is, that's a Brahmin. Well, actually, it could be the Brahmin arms protecting me. I now don't know whether there's any more soldiers left. What I can do is I can check if there's enemies, because if there aren't... I'll be able to drop a save, and then I'll be safe regardless. Nice! Good! Right, with a save dropped, I'm pretty much safe just to basically clear these guys out and see if there's anything left. Uh, that was a survivor who had nothing particularly of interest. Fine, that means I can now check the remnants, assuming they actually haven't managed to despawn. So, some nice heavy stuff there. I could actually move the pocket and stuff onto heavy gear, but it's, you know, heavier. So, probably I can do without that. Also, I could really do with some booze. I'm really concerned about my sanity. Like, I've not been drinking much booze, and I've been killing a lot of people recently. Like, quite a lot. I've got a bit kill-happy, to be honest. Are we actually good? Hang on, let's just do a quick lap here. And the answer appears to be... Okay, we're safe. We've cleared out Bunker Hill. Okay, so, who are these guys exactly? These are the original occupants. Fine. Then we've got ourselves beds there, but more importantly, this is the hotel. Yeah, there should be proper beds up here. Oh, is it proper beds or is it just... Oh, darn, it's not. There's no proper beds in the hotel. Oh, gosh darn it. I kind of came here primarily because I wanted a proper bed. Uh, okay, but this is the hotel. Like, I now own the entire town. So, in theory, just in theory... Hello, what's that? That's just a... No, that's just a baseball bat. I thought there was something fancy there. I mean, I could just... Like, if someone else has a nice house that's got a nice bed in it, could just have that. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry about this, but I think you know what happens at this point. So, there we go. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Bye. Uh, so, down you go. Cow meat times four. Overtired. And that means I've just gone over capacity. Right. This is becoming a problem. Except, of course, I just murdered everyone who lives here. Like, surely the problem right now isn't really that I don't have a proper bed. Because that is a problem that would be very easy to sort out if I were to just say, own this settlement, darn it. Okay, why exactly don't I own this settlement, by the way? Because I kind of feel like I should do, because if I don't, who the hell does? I've murdered everyone else who lives here. Unless, of course, there's someone bloody... No, that's inaccessible. Fine, they've blocked that area out. So, not up there. Hmm, intriguing. Ooh, but I will take some extra 10mm ammo that I just located here, but yeah... This entire town appears to be nothing but sleeping bags. I can't find a single actual bed. Even the actual locals appear to be sleeping in sleeping bags, which is a little bit of an annoyance. Okay, well, as there's basically nothing I can do here, I'll drop a save at the bare minimum, then it's time to crack on. If I just head, yeah, pretty much due west along the river, I'll get to the bridge. I'll pass by bad TFL, but maybe I'll just give that a miss. I kind of just want to get up to West Everett. I'd like to actually get there this part. 
Also, I've had a thought. Booze up to this point I've primarily been using to keep my rads down, but rads are, for the moment at least, under control, and I do have fungal purges and radaways, so uh, I'm gonna do the addictol. So I'm gonna do the addictol, that's gonna get me mildly dehydrated. Luckily, I've got the water to take care of that. I mean, that just burnt a lot of water. That was arguably a lot of water to burn, but... Okay. It's fine. It wasn't a bad idea. So, out we come. Drop down out of... This. Okay, I'm stuck in a... No, never mind. I thought I was stuck in a car there. Terrible place to be. Never get stuck in a car in Fallout 4. There's a good chance you might just die for some reason. So, round the outskirts around here. That'll be... Yeah, that's bad TFL. Let's just check what we've got going on. Well, something's around here, but... How close is it? How close is it? Doesn't feel that close. I don't think it. Oh! Never mind, it's totally guarding the bad TFL officers. Uh, you are angry. Would you like to hold still for a second? Oh! Okay. How about you just die? In fact, how about you just fall over dead and we just don't talk about it anymore? Okay. And everything's okay for the time being. Lovely. Little bit concerned about the number of people I've been murdering. Some people have been flagging in the comments. John, sanity. And especially... Oh. That's probably another reason why I shouldn't have just... Oh. What was that? Okay. The survivor panicking. The survivor is fighting a rat. But also something else has found... Okay, I'm just going to go around here, because I don't know what just found me, but I don't really want to be involved in any of this. Supposedly I've been found, but it's fading fast. The rat probably won that one. Nothing around the back. Actually, wait, hang on. Is that a, is that a little camp? Because I actually need a cooking station, because there wasn't a bloody cooking station at Bunker Hill either. It was bloody useless. Uh, no, tragically it was not. Okay, just need to get over to that. Oh. Right. The bridge is not clear. Oh. Someone just yelled something. Are they trying to find me? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Who? Where? Wait, what? There's a bunch of people on the bridge. Fine, there's... And I see you there. Yeah, fine. And now you're dead. Um... Right, that was all very unusual. Yeah, okay. So my options are three survivors on the bridge need to be taken out. Alternative is a backtrack. And I could cross here, but that's a long way to loop round at this point. Because if you guys do just want to hold still, sporadically, then... Hang on. That's one dead right there. There's two that are a bit panicking. I don't think they're going to find me, though. But now, actually, if they'd like to abandon the bridge, that could work out beautifully for me. <laughs> that could actually be just what I need. And now they're moving over in this direction. Yeah, fine. Only one of them's got a gun. Okay, Am. Dead. And the other one does not actually have... Yeah, there you are. Hello. You haven't actually got a weapon, do you? You've got yourself a... Uh-oh. Oh, oh he, he does now. Oh. Just because they're not holding a weapon at one second doesn't mean they're not going to pick one up the next, John. <laughs> Blimey. Okay, little bit careful here. A little bit careful. And what can we get off you? Nothing of any note. Fine. Check for mines. Nope, bridge is clear. Good. We should have a pretty smooth run at that place now. But actually, you were armed with a pipe wrench. I might have been overthinking the danger of those guys. Aha, I was right. This is the area I thought it was. So... That there is the big Poseidon Turbine place. Uh, I don't think I need anything from there. Now clearly, however, it does have something inside it. It's Maya Lurks in the base game. If they've just been replaced with crabs, I can do without, to be honest. In fact, I'll keep my distance. Uh, oh, hang on. Unless what I'm keeping my distance from, or trying to keep my distance from, is whoever lives in this shack. But no. This is just a random shack. That's fine. Uh, I don't believe this room is particularly interesting. 
Also, time to find out how far off I was in terms of laying my custom marker for West Everett. Uh, I'm really hoping I wasn't too far off. Keep on... Oh. Careful. Uh-oh. US Army Convoy means possibility. That's power armor. But possibility of gutsy. Need to be... Oh! Okay. Actually, it's a friendly utility protectron. So everything's fine. It's very nice to actually run into a friendly robot for once. I'm not sure if it's going to stay that friendly, but... For the moment, at least, it seems to be pretty cool with me. Hello. Are me and you going to stay friends if I decide I want to have a look see what's going on in the back of this van? Okay, and we got ourselves some... Um, nope, sadly. Actually, surgical kit. Take surgical kit. That's for uh, broken limbs. This is fine. If I run into something a little bit... Oh! Balls. Well, of course it had to be. Right. That's West Everett right there. So we got West Everett, but... It's ghouly. Right, we got ourselves an infestation to clear out. And that robot's going to be annoying because that robot is going to mean I can't figure out whether or not I've cleared out the ghouls. So, not actually that helpful. Wait, hang on. John! John, 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 John. Don't forget, you picked up the most wonderful item in the world... And that's the ghoul mask. But the moment I put this on, my face is exposed to the air. It does give me a tiny bit of rad resistance, but barely any. Okay, before we make the decision here, what can I actually see? I can see IED. I can see a ghoul. I can see another ghoul. And I can see a third ghoul in the background. I've got plenty of sniper shots right now. If I could just basically take out all of you bastards with standard sniper shots and... Oh, oh darn it. He became alert. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Okay, they're apparently pretty good at locating me, actually. Um, okay, go over to plasma. Um, robot... Oh! Well, one of them just walked straight into that. Now I'm parched again. Okay, are they... Oh, they've made it over here. They've made it over here. Right, okay. Uh, would you like to take out some of these bastards for me? Because it would be really nice if you could. Okay, so let's just start taking them out, please. Yep, there we go. So they can just start going down. Right, okay. Yep, there we go. Oh, bloke, wait, what? Um, I just got ill from infection. Which is not good. Not good at all. Because... That's, that's the one that leads to my total, complete, irreparable, irrecoverable death. Um, and I've got it just from standing vaguely close by to a flipping ghoul. And boom. Okay, there's more yet, though. Oh, there's flipping tons more yet. Just, just die. Die, you bastards. How many more? How many more are there? I'm still found. And I'm nearly out of ammo. Okay, so now I'm suffering from infection. So, now, now I'm dying. Now I'm actually dying. So this is, this is all marvellously good news. Hello! How would you just like to die because I don't like you very much? Oh, bloody hell, you just survived that, you get. Right. Keep dying. Okay. So, West Everett, I've found that. But quite frankly, if I don't just happen to find antibiotics in here, I'm pretty much dead. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how we dealt with those ghouls. That was fun. Um, but, but now, now we're screwed. Now we're 100% boned. Like, super boned. There might, just might, be actual drugs and medicine down in the bunker itself. And the answer is... I'm not even convinced there's a med kit down here. Oh, marvellous. Just flipping marvellous. Well, there is one and oh. Okay, this, this here, this is the moment where we just kind of pray. No, tragically not, we're done. We're 100% done in that case. Here's what I'm after, by the way. It's, oh, it's a damaged hazmat suit. 
Right, so it's not actually perfect. Sorry, when you say damaged, I think 750 rad resistance will do. I think that's bloody fine, actually. Okay, let's try this again, but this time let's not get randomly bloody infected for no reason, just for kind of walking vaguely bloody close by to a ghoul, which quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, is total utter BS game. But let's try this again. This time, I'm gonna go with plan B, which honestly should probably have just been plan A in the first place. So, back on the hilltop, overlooking the housing estate. And yeah, I've got a better plan on this occasion. Assuming you've, yeah, it's exactly the same. It must be a fixed spawn of those ghouls there. I've got a better plan. I've got the ghoul mask. Why would you not just use that? Aside, of course, from the rads I'm going to gain. But, John, you're literally carrying a fungal purge and a rad away. You're fine. Go over to the ghoul mask. That means you've taken off the helmet and the gas mask. How bad is this? Actually, you know what? Plus one per second. Plus one a second is fine. Put the gun away. Okay, so I should be... Yeah, I've been found. Now I just need to keep my distance from the ghouls. Keep my distance from the ghouls themselves. But as long as I'm wearing the ghoul mask, they're cool with me. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. I need to get a little bit closer to you, unfortunately. And in. And also, I just picked up a new illness there. I just picked up fatigue. Because basically... I hate this game and everything in it. Why would I have just picked up fatigue? What, from just breathing in radioactive air? Fine, whatever. Um, okay. Everything's fine. Let's just have a quick check around to see what else we've got. vault Tech. Ooh, Quantum. I'll have that if I can. And what else is there? Yeah, Damaged Hazmat Soup. Fine. Got that. Need to clear out enough weights to actually use that, which is fine because I'm currently hungry, so that shouldn't be a problem. In fact, perfect timing, uh, do a fungal purge. And as I've just picked up fatigue anyway, I may as well have a proper sleep here as this is actually a proper bed. Though actually, while I'm also here, this will have been reshuffled. So cross your fingers a second time. No, sadly I got excited for a moment there, but that says antiseptic, not antibiotic. So uh, may as well take it as it's weightless, but... Nothing useful. Okay, I've just leveled up from that. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Why not, eh? Right, level 18. What can we do with this? Ooh, Action Girl 2. AP refresh rate. That's tempting. Sneak 3 would certainly be nice as well. Fortune Finder obviously can do without that. Can't take another rank of Scrounger. Now I've actually got plenty of ammo. Taking Gunslinger wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. If I could just find a weapons workbench, I could actually potentially convert my laser rifle into a pistol. Get the weight down a little bit. Might not be the worst idea in the world. Or, if I didn't do that, Rifleman, same basic deal. Though it would never be a bad idea just to take Sneak 3. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Just basically make it harder and harder to detect. Because that element of surprise... Yeah, go for it. In all fairness, being not spotted and then being able to take a shot before they see me, that's keeping me alive better than anything else. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's just sleep for 13 hours, get rid of that tiredness I've got, and if I'm really lucky, the fatigue might just burn itself out anyway, because sometimes illnesses just basically decide to naff off. I mean, fatigue's annoying, but it's far from the worst one. Next to infection, it's nothing. And uh, fungal purge wears off. I'm peckish and parched, but other than that, we're good. And I feel well rested, which means I should actually have some carry capacity back. Yep, there it is. Marvellous. So that means I can now pick up the stuff I just dropped. Which is good, because there was actually some meat dotted in there as well. I'll do without the crab meat, though, because only one on its own is not that useful. But we have got what we need, okay? We have got the most crucial thing of all. We have got a damaged hazmat suit. I don't care if it's damaged. I genuinely don't. Because it flipping comes with 750 rad resistance. All I need to do now is make my way over towards County Crossing. Cross the relatively safe ground down towards North Hagen. I can drop a save at North Hagen. And I can actually make a run at the Columbia. 
Now, I don't know if that's going to work, because even with 750 rad resistance, that's a long distance to swim. So, actually, if it looks like it's getting too dicey, I could nip down to Spectacle, just stand on the shore, rad away, and then do the remainder. It's possible, but again, I don't know whether this is the end. I need to have enough rad space left over after we're done to get back. Because uh, that might just be a tape saying, oh yeah, we got the thing, the bioweapon, and we shipped it over to the mysterious Black Pyramid in the Glowing Sea. Ha ha, you're going back there, you stupid bastards. And also, we sent the other bit of the machine to Vault 111. Yeah, you're going back there too, screw you. Um, so it's quite possible. <laughs> This bit of the map hasn't been used yet. It wouldn't surprise me if it said, oh yeah, we, we took it and we shipped it north up to the port of Salem. That's where we sent it. It's over there. Why don't you go over there, you stupid bastard? That's entirely possible. <laughs> I don't know. This mod could do bloody anything. But we have got a very, very crucial bit of kit there. And with that, I think we're actually ready to make a run. And I don't know if that's the end. If that is the end, it could be the grand finale next week. I've no bloody clue. Or the plan could totally fail. That's miles too bloody far to swim. And I might have to instead, like, you know, back off and go back to this area over here. We will have to see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much and goodbye. Claire, show off what the button packaging does. That's amazing! 25, 50, 100, and then 110 rounds! If you need to rounds. the butter, you just fold the packaging onto the butter and it... I... That's amazing! <laughs> That's such a good idea! See, How long has the butter been doing this? Forever. <laughs>